Let's do an experiment. Find your science and art bag that you picked up from school this week. You will need the pipe cleaners and the white beads. Whoops. Go ahead and seal the bag and put it somewhere safe so that you have it for our next lesson together. With our pipe cleaners and beads, we are going to create a lizard. Your lizard can look any way that you want it to, as long as you're using the pipe cleaner and beads. I'll show you how to make a chameleon. Are you ready? First, take one of your pipe cleaners and go ahead and at the middle, about halfway up your pipe cleaner, start to bend it to look like a face. A lizard's face looks a little bit like an oval. So I'm going to loop it. Whoop. I'm going to loop it like this. Then the pipe cleaner, it's fuzzy on the outside, but on the inside it has metal, very flexible metal that can bend and twist. So I'm just going to go ahead and twist my pipe cleaner around the center and I left a little bit for an arm. It looks like that. Okay, now this is the spine or the backbone of my lizard. That's where I'm gonna add my beads. Go ahead and take your beads, string, kind of string them one by one to make up your lizard's backbone. Just like that. Now I have a little bit left over so I'm gonna make that into my, one of my legs. Now I'm gonna take a second one and I'm gonna show you how to add a second leg, a tail, and a second arm. Okay so here I'm going to need another arm. So I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm just going to make the arm about the same length as the first arm. Okay and then I'm going to twist to attach it. Give it a couple twists so it looks like two arms. Okay and then I'm going to take my leftover pipe cleaner and go kind of just I'm putting it under the beads and then I'm going to twist right at the end of the beads too just keeping my pipe cleaners together by twisting, I'm kind of holding them all and turning in the circular motion. Now, I've got another leg, and if you have scissors, you could cut the leg right there. If you don't have scissors, you can always bend it back, okay, because we can turn that last bit of pipe cleaner into a tail. Okay? So again, you can shape your lizard any way you want, as long as it looks like it has a head, two arms, two legs, and a tail. Okay? Let me show you how I did my other one. Here's another example. If you wanted to make feet, so this one I added a little bit of feet. Um, by I cut the pipe cleaner and then I twisted a little bit of extra pieces at, at the end of my leg so it looks like it has uh, feet or little hands, little claws. Okay, and then I had an extra pipe cleaner that I wanted to use at the end to make that long uh, chameleon tail, that prehensile tail that's able to kind of hold on and grasp the tree limbs. So if you wanted to make a chameleon, you're going to want to make a nice long curly tail. If you wanted to just make a, um, an anole, okay, a lizard with a long tail, you can just add one more pipe cleaner to the back so it's a nice long flat tail. All right, again, any way you want to make this lizard is fine as long as you have those beads somewhere on your creature, okay? Now that you made your lizard, 
I want to see if you can find a place in your house that your lizard camouflages. What is camouflage? Well, camouflage simply means that your lizard is laying or sitting on something that matches its body color. My lizard here is white, so I put it on a piece of white paper. Is it harder to see? Yeah, it's hard to see. And this would help my lizard survive. It can hide or camouflage from other predators that might want to eat it for lunch. Imagine if the same lizard were on my shirt. It's really easy to see this way. Here, it's more camouflaged. We all got different colored lizards. So you're going to have to find something in your house that matches body coloring. Then challenge a mom, dad, sister, or brother to look for your hidden camouflaged lizard. Here is a video of a chameleon changing its color. Chameleons mostly live in the rainforests and deserts of Africa. Rainforest chameleons hang out in the trees and they are usually green. Watch the lizard change its color. It can do this to warm up or cool down or to communicate with other chameleons. How exactly do they do this? The outer layer of their skin is see-through. Do you remember the big word for this when we did our shadow experiments? Transparent. Under this layer of skin are colors or pigments. A chameleon can think about what colors to mix and just like mixing paint colors, new colors are shown. Swiveling eyes. Chameleons have really cool eyes that they are able to move independently of one another. That means one eye can rotate up or down while the other eye is moving maybe left or right. This can create some really silly pictures. It allows them to see all around them. Prehensile tail. Chameleons have a very long, curly tail. This is helpful for them because they are climbing up high on the tree branches and they use it to wrap around the branch so that they don't fall off while they're moving. Sticky tongues. Chameleons can have tongues up to two feet long. They use these tongues to snap out of their mouth at 13 miles per hour in order to wrap around an insect for lunch. Now it's time to watch your lizard change colors. Take the lizard that you made outside with you. Hide it on a tree or a branch. Watch to see the beads change color in the sun. These beads are special beads called solar beads. They are activated and change colors by the sun. The ultraviolet light from the sun helps these beads turn darker colors. Your chameleon will work just like a real chameleon. You can test to see if your chameleon looks different in the shade versus the sun. See if your chameleon looks different on a hot day versus a cold day. We hope you enjoy these chameleons. And I look forward to seeing them on Seesaw.